good proposals. Uh, so good proposals need to be clear. They need to be interesting. We don't want to debate anything boring. They need to be controversial. So we need to split into two sides. They need to be objective. So not a matter of taste. We need something that has logical reasons either for or against. Um, and we need also, importantly, we need to advocate change. So um, we don't want to debate something that things should be like they are now, because things are like they are now. And if you want things to stay how they are, you don't need to do anything. Um, it should also be easy to find reasons for and against. So if you can only think of one reason for your proposal, it's probably not a very good one. Uh, just going back to advocating change, um, here are some examples of proposals that do not advocate change. So um, elementary school students should study English. Well, they do study English, so we don't need to debate about them studying English. We may want to we may want a proposal that elementary school students should study English from the first year or elementary students should study English every day or elementary students should not study English. Those are all trying to change what we have now. Um, Japan should use nuclear power. Well, it does. So we don't need to debate. Maybe Japan should use more nuclear power. Maybe Japan should stop using nuclear power, um, but it does. Uh, people in Japan should be able to vote at 18. I think they can, so we don't need to debate this. Um, I think it's happened, it's changed. So, um, often then there are words in our proposals that are unclear, and we need to watch out for these words. Uh, for example, we or you. Who is we and who is you so are we talking about everybody people in this class or students in this university um students in japan uh all children children is another thing that um if we talk about children how old are we talking about um so with the we and the you and the children, often we don't know exactly who we are talking about. Are we talking about everyone in school here in the world? Are we talking about all the people in Japan? Are we talking about all the people in the world? We need to say who exactly we are talking about. Um, we have words like many and a lot and very much. These often we don't, how, how many is many and how much is a lot and what does very much actually mean and we don't, usually we don't know. Um, too many may be okay. So if we say there are too many, mm -hmm, um, that means we should reduce the number. So reducing the number is something that is clear. Um, but usually many and a lot and very much are not clear. Other words to look out for are because or so or since or therefore. Or in fact, anything, anytime you have a, a complex, a compound sentence where you have a long sentence with two parts to it, this may not be very clear. And I'll give you an example. Um, we should use electric cars to protect the environment. This sounds like a great topic, sounds like a great idea, um, but we may have people against this. We may have somebody is against because we should not use electric cars. Somebody else may be against, well, no, we should use electric cars because they'll save money, not to save the environment, but let's do it to save money. So we may have um, different uh different people. So in fact, there are two parts to this. One of them is we should use electric cars. The other one is to protect the environment. So we have two different parts to this proposal. Uh, if we're for or against, it's not clear which part we are for or against. This is better, but who is we? 
who are we talking about here? And should is, um, sh should, what do we mean should? This is better now. This is probably a good proposal. Um, all new cars must be electric by 2030. We are saying what we must do and we've got a date. So this is completely clear. And I think um, we have a good proposal now. So the best proposals then, um, we need to think about the best proposals. So which one of your proposals do you think is best? Um, can you change any of your proposals to improve them? Can you make any of your proposals better? And of the proposals you've heard from other people or read from other people, what was the best proposal that you are for? Which, which is the best proposal that you like? Um, here's a checklist then for good proposals. First of all, is it interesting? Secondly, is it clear? Next, is it advocating change? Next one is, are you for? So this is something that you're advocating change for. Um, and can you think of reasons both for and against? Um, if you can only think of reasons for, not so good. Next, is it controversial? This may be difficult to know on your own, um, but we have been asking other people. So if we look at other people's answers, whether they were for or against, we should be able to tell. Um, this number, um, 1 over 2 to the power of 5, or 1 in 32, um, this is the, the chance that you spoke to five people and they all said for or they all said against. This is the chance of that happening um, at random. Um, if you've asked five people and two were for and three were against, then you know it's probably controversial. Um, even if you if one person is for and four people are against, that's probably controversial too. Um, but if everybody is for, um, there's a chance, a fairly high chance, that it's not a controversial proposal. Um, and one in 32 is the probability that you've asked five people and they all have the same opinion, um, but the proposal is still controversial. Um, it's not impossible. It's not impossible that you will just happen to speak to five people and they're all for. Um, but it seems more likely. So make sure you find a proposal that is controversial. And you can only do this by looking at other people's ideas and opinions. Um, so the best proposal, you're going to later need to add the best proposal to the forum. And this could be your proposal. It could be a proposal that you heard from one of the other students or a proposal that you read from one of the other students, um, or it could be a new proposal um, that you come up with between now and when you write in the forum. Um, importantly, I'd like each person to add a different proposal, uh, so um, good luck with that later, and I look forward to seeing all of your proposals.